Hello everybody, this is Goddess Kendra and welcome to my channel. If you have not already, please subscribe, hit the notification button and leave a comment. So this episode of Marriage Bootcamp Hip Hop Edition, I'm doing a review on season 17, episode 2 and episode 3. So for episode 2, the summary is an epic battle exposes a couple shocking resentment issues Corrupt struggles with self-control leads to an epic fail that stuns the house and could end his relationship, Hazel E. and Tahiri face off. So in the second episode, they learn this sexy dance and then the doctors switch it up and make the couples dance with one another's partner. Automatically, Willie D's... Um, wife is like hazel e is always extra now when hazel was dancing with willie common sense would tell you they're entertainers when she raps or sings she's able to dance willie's from day 26 he's able to dance if two people are able to fucking dance that means their shit's gonna look professional because they're paid to do it honestly What's pissing me off about Shonda is that she's always bitching at Willie. Oh, yo ass cheated. Oh, yo ass cheated. But bitch, you cheated. I don't give a fuck if Willie cheated 99 times and you cheated one. You guys both stepped out on your marriage. So she's like, Hazel's being extra and they're just getting mad. And then, of course, Phaedra was getting jealous. And even Vato, 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 Vato was getting jealous as well. But it's a task, and their point of that was to see how the couples were able to control their tempers. And then Hazel E and Tahiri get in it about, I believe Hazel says some shit about what Tahiri was wearing. And Tahiri was like, bitch, you have your ass out and shit. I'm not jealous, so what is your problem? Now, I've always stated, if you cannot trust your spouse, you do not have a relationship I don't care if you're married, engaged, getting to know each other. If there is no trust, you cannot um, have a relationship. And I find that with all the couples, they all have insecurity and controlling issues. Phaedra is so controlling. She wants Medina to kiss her ass. Y'all been together six months and you still haven't gave them no pussy? A man can only be so patient, so if you're not giving him what he wants, Medina's going to step out and cheat on you. You think because you make this money and you're on TV that you're above him, a man is supposed to lead the household. And I believe I said it in my first video. She's like, well, the reason why I haven't really given him no coochie is because I have good coochie and it's going to cause a problem. You might think you have good pussy, but if you can't make a man come in under 10 minutes, your pussy ain't good. Plain blanket, period. Women that got good pussy don't run around saying they have good pussy. So I really don't see them um, making it. And the same thing with Willie Taylor and his wife. And then I just was Googling their couple signs and stuff. I'm not even sure if Hazel E and Devon will make it. Two tourists together don't fucking work. Y'all motherfuckers is bullheaded and strong and y'all don't fucking listen. Obviously, Corrupt is having issues with his drinking. So basically... The doctors were telling him, brother, this, what you're doing is only going to get worse for you. And basically, Dr. Ish was like, we're going to send you to the hospital. And right when they wanted to do a drip and get him hydrated, he's like, I'm not doing that. It comes back home. And there you go. Tony's pissed off all over again. I think she nags a lot. And obviously, if you cannot get over your spouse, Tony, cheating, Y'all shouldn't be together, point blank and period, because the way you bitch at him is so annoying, even for me. I'm like, damn, either leave him or stay. So now we're going to go into episode three. The summary is jealousy strikes. The boot campers break out their sexy. Oops, I did it backwards. I'm so sorry. 
sexy as dance moves and an explosive fight rocks the house pushing judge toller to erupt in disappointment and shocking health scare threatens a couple so basically after their whole dance routine after the practice um Shonda's like, Hazel is extra. So she's talking crap about Hazel while Hazel's upstairs. Her man's like, but you're not going to sit up here and um, talk about my girl when she's not here. So Willie's like, hey, yo, you don't check my, you don't check my wife. He's like, well, tell your wife to stop talking shit about my wife. And they get into it. And as soon as Willie um, got in his face, Devon pushed his ass. And they, Hazel E was fighting on Willie and then Shonda tried to come in between. Like, even as I already know, Shonda's jealous and she's insecure. So her way of not, because she don't ever talk about her shit, is to keep nagging Willie. Who wants to hear that shit? Either you accept the fact and try to move on from your spouse cheating or you fucking let the shit go. Like, I wouldn't want to hear that shit every day. And then it's not right. The man's gonna be like, bitch, you a bitch. Fuck you. And then, like, oh, he's verbally abusive to me. Eh. Like, who wants to hear that bullshit nagging? I don't even like to be nagged like that. And clearly, like I said, Shonda was jealous when Hazel was dancing with, um... Willie, I mean, even Devon and Vado said, I don't like my woman dancing with somebody else, but they check their attitude. Now, my thing was this, Willie, how you just going to let go up in somebody's face and not swing? Your wife was talking shit, and I would stand up. I don't give a fuck if you're male or female. If you're talking about somebody I care about and you're not saying that shit to their face, why the fuck are you not saying it to their face? I'm just saying... Talking behind someone's back is fake. And clearly, you're insecure within yourself. Clearly, no matter how much makeup you put on, no matter how much wigs you put on, not even the plastic surgery that these reality TV stars get and the general public. You can do all that. That still don't mean you have confidence. That still don't mean you don't love yourself. You have to have self-love and self-care first. A book I advise people to read is called The Introduction to My Yacht Theory to specifically black people. When you learn these principles of our ancestors, all this other negative bullshit around you will be effing laughable. And something about Vado don't seem right to me. I feel like he's either talking to another female or smashing behind um, to hear his back. Because like I said in my first video, how do you expect someone to open up to you? But you can talk about your spouse, maybe to the boot campers, but you can't have a real conversation to, with Tahiri's, behind Tahiri's face. And I feel in my heart, Hazel E is controlling too, because I believe Hazel was born in 1980, and her man was born in 1993, so that's a 13-year gap. I feel like she's very controlling, and she treats him like a sugar baby, but I feel something in my soul from him fighting and getting upset the way he did. I feel like um, he, he can get angry, and I wonder, have you ever tried to hit Hazel or done some bullshit? Because... You're insecure with yourself. I don't give a fuck if Cardi B or whoever you call is cute walking my way. If I have self-love for myself, I don't give a fuck if 20 niggas call me ugly. If Goddess Kendra has love for myself and loves who I am, it don't matter what the fuck anybody else has to say. So I feel like does he hit Hazel and then Hazel waves the money in his face. I feel like she treats him like a sugar baby. If you don't know what a sugar baby is, they have these sugar baby websites where younger people entertain older people. They may have sex and then you get bankroll from that. It's out there. Women have gotten benzes, houses, and all types of stuff. But... 
we have to look within ourselves. Like communication is key to making any relationship in life work. And if you're not willing to do the work, it's not gonna work. Again, everybody, thank you for watching my video. Comment, subscribe. Thank you to all my supporters. I love you. Peace and blessings.